Hi guys, welcome back to Travelers Backpacker. This is your Nikhil. Today we are at Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. So today we are here to look onto the ancient rocks and ancient temple also. It is also called as Undavalli Caves, which is located the shore of Krishna River in Vijayawada. So let's get into the tour. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get in. The four-story temple complex at Undavalli is actually a magnificent cave structure built by the Vishnukundi dynasty in around 420 to 620 AD. It's a quite a work of engineering. It's also a beautiful symbol of diversity with different fates all in the same space. Initially, it was used as a Buddhist monastery and later the caves were lived in by Jain monks. Finally, the complex occurred a Hindu temple look under the reign of Vishnu Kundi dynasty. The Undavali caves dated back to the 7th century BC and a prime example of rock-cut architecture. The caves are about 6 kilometers from Vijayavada and offers a unique perspective into the ancient religious practice. The caves are carved out of sandstone on the side of a hill. While there are many caves, the largest is the one that is most popular for its huge monolithic of Lord Vishnu in the reclining posture. The main cave is a prime example of Gupta architecture style which concentrated on primitive rock cut monastery cells. So guys, we are going to see the ancient built sculpture of Indian goddess also called as Sri Padmanabha Swami who is laying on a big serpent in his free mode. So let's get into that. I don't want to keep any surprise anymore. Please come on. So hello guys, this is the surprise for you. You can see the Ananta Padmanabha, the Vishnu, laying on the seven head snake, protecting him as a bed over here. And a complete sculpture is made of one single rock. And this kind of sculpture is located also in southern part of India, the state called Kerala and the district of Tiruvananthapuram. If you go over there, it's a spiritual temple and everything. There are a lot of timings over there. Even over here, they do have a lot of timing and everything. But if you want to visualize the complete structure of Sri Maha Vishnu or Sri Padmanabheshwara, you need to come over here, which is located in Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh, a place called as Undavalli Caves. Says Ashai Vishnu. This is the primary sculpture of the Undavalli caves and the one that established that these are Vaishnava cave temples. A Jain Garuda sculpture is sitting on the top of Vishnu sculpture as if keeping an eye on Vishnu as he sleeps. The Jain Naga, the serpent, act as a pillow as the other deities look upon from the sky. These caves are like many other caves across India, but they are as unique as well. There are many small caves located on the bank of Krishna river. Technically, they are part of Gunto district, but they are closer to the city of Vijayawada or the newly formed capital of Andhra Pradesh, Amaravati.
These are a set of caves excavated on a rocky hill overlooking the surrounding lush green fields. However, the main cave is a four-story cave with neatly carved chambers with pillars. It is this cave that most of us explore it. It is estimated that these caves were excavated sometime in 4th and 5th CE during the reign of King Vishnukundi. They were under royal patronage till about 16 CE after which they lie unused. Now of course they are part of ASI Asset and National Heritage. So guys, uh, today we are over here. As I said you, so today is a big uh, tour thing going on. So we are going to uh, see the serving of the food and uh, style. You can see the varieties of foods being served. Authentic of Andhra food. They're going to do it over here. So guys, today we are at Ramaya Mess at Vijayawadia, which is located near Andhra Hospital. So it's very authentic food over here. It's just it costs 200 rupees, and it is going to serve us 18 items. It's been fabulous and everything. So a lot of dishes are gonna come over here. We are gonna taste the tradition of uh, typical Andhra food. So let's get into the food journey right now. Tamil Nadu, I'm going to go to the and people are just keeping on going on with their foods and everything. Today, enjoying the food. Sir, how is the food? Story. 40, 40 years. 40 years. Ninji. Any 
సో మాకు చాలా బాగా నచ్చింది మీ ఫుడ్ మేము హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ రికమెండ్ చేస్తున్నాం కస్టమర్స్కి కూడా రావడానికి అంటే ఇది ఎస్పెషలీ నేను ఒక యాక్చువల్లీ ఒక చెప్పాలనుకుంటే టూ హండ్రెడ్ రూపీస్కి ఆ ఫుల్ మిల్ ఫుల్ ఫుల్ మిల్ ఇస్తున్నారు దట్ ఈస్ లైక్ అన్లిమిటెడ్ అన్లిమిటెడ్ ఫిల్ దట్ దట్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇరవై సంవత్సరాలు పని చేస్తున్నారు అవునా అండి ఎన్ కానీ చాలా బాగుందండి ఫుడ్ మాత్రం మీ దగ్గర చాలా బాగుంది రికమెండ్ చేస్తున్నాను ఎవరైతే విజయవాడ ఎవరెవరైతే వస్తున్నారో వాళ్ళకి మీ మెస్ ఒక్క హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ నా తరఫున రికమెండ్ చేస్తున్నాను So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this historical tour over here in Andhra Pradesh, Vijayawada. So I hope you guys will absolutely visit this place. And this has been an, one of the biggest ancient place in the complete era since 405 AD till 606 AD. And I hope you guys need to come over here and enjoy this trip and have a look of massive Padmanabha Swami who is laying on a seven-head serpent over here. If you like my video please do like comment and subscribe if you would like to ask any questions or anything please do put it in a comment box and please do subscribe there's a bell icon over here so guys i would like to say you one thing so after two videos this is my third video i'm going to release this videos in four different languages which is going to be in english tamil telugu and kannada this is also a multilingual blog travel blog Please do support me, share, like and comment. See you.